Stitching on black fabric stresses me out. I'm Michelle. This is my romantic tangle. And for some reason, even though I know that stitching on black fabric is going to stress me out, I keep falling in love with projects where it is the best fabric choice. Once I actually sit down and start stitching it, I'm capable of it. But it's not as easy as a lighter colored fabric. It's not as fun as a lighter colored fabric. So I tend to avoid it. And I've had kind of a revelation this week that I wanted to share with you because I need to prioritize. I avoided starting the ring for a ridiculous amount of time because I, there are examples of it stitched on white Ada. It looks good on white Ada, but it just doesn't have that glow that it does on the black background. The piece of Ada I first had that I intended to use, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, it this is craft store fabric. It is the cheap stuff. The other piece I had was apparently the cheaper stuff because I had a hard time seeing the holes. And one of the tips that everyone will give you, because it is a good tip, is to put something light underneath your stitching so you can see the holes. That piece, even with something light under it, I couldn't see the holes. I don't know what was different about the weave. Not all fabric is equal. <laughs> But what I really got thinking about was how many projects I have in my 2B stitch pile that are on black fabric or navy blue fabric. Because as far as stitching practicality, it might as well be black. I could have done this in a different color on a lighter fabric, but this is what the pattern was. And I liked the way the pattern looked. And you're not gonna get the contrast of that orange and that cheese on a lighter colored fabric. So let's think this through. This is Sunlit Fox. It's a dimensions kit. I don't think it would look as good on a lighter colored fabric. Lamps is absolutely not going to work on anything but the dark fabric. Yeah, that one's black. I couldn't tell for a second if it was black or navy blue. It would not work without the dark fabric. A Night to Remember is not going to work without the dark fabric. I have another one that is a theater. It is white Greek inspired architecture against a black sky. I have an eagle against a full moon. These are projects that I really want to stitch that have to be on the black fabric to make them work the way that they're supposed to. I'm not sure about Frederick the Literate. This has so close to full coverage, maybe you could get away with it on a lighter colored fabric. I might look it up and see if anyone else has done it and if I like the way it looks. But there are quite a few projects in my two-stitch pile that have to be on the provided fabric or the intended fabric. And I keep adding more. So when I bought and downloaded this one, I started to wonder, it looks great on the black fabric. But they're in dirt, right? Could I get away with doing it on a lighter colored fabric? This is the darkest brown I could find at the craft shop. And is there going to be enough contrast? The only color I'm halfway thinking about is this one. Maybe I could do this without black fabric. And what about Possum Song? I downloaded this one out off of Etsy and in the reviews there are lots of pictures of this little possum stitched on a lighter fabric and he looks absolutely great. So just because I fell in love with it on the black background, I don't think that means I have to stitch it on the black background, and maybe I don't want to. 
Maybe I should save the stress of stitching on black fabric for the projects where it is essential. Have you substituted projects that were black fabric for something else and been happy with it? Let me know in the comments. I am eyeballing the new Just Cross Stitch Halloween issue, and of course there are a ton of things in there that probably should be on the black fabric they call for. I'm thinking I might make give my eyes a break by doing a couple of substitutions here. Let me know what you think and what you would do and have done. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with you more with more videos soon and hopefully I will be back with you soon letting you know how these look on my substituted fabrics.